Well, good, beautiful morning. Can you believe it? It is not flooding. Beautiful, beautiful, crisp morning. Milk already this morning. We've got beautiful blue sky, so we're going to try to get some things done that we need to get done. So, we've got some bee tools. You know, we're getting into bee season, uh, are really active into the, the bee season. So, we've got some old hive bodies that we just need to kind of clean up. We've got some old uh, hives that the, the bees cleaned off the, the pollen and the old wax and some of the old honey that was no you know that was that we had left and residues and they cleaned it off but we've just got to kind of clean the rest of it off you see i'm laying right there it's just about you know 20 or so frames so we just need to get that cleaned off get that done now, it is very very wet still of course because we've had tons of rain but we just got done moving the cows we are going to go ahead and plant um some potatoes because in uh, Zone 8B, especially in South Mississippi, really February is the time to plant potatoes. So we're going to go and plant all these beds worth of potatoes, which I'm, I'm happy to do. Love potatoes. Family loves potatoes. So we're going to do that today. Also want to give you an update on the the garlic and onions. This is, uh, you see the sprouting up of the garlic. This is the garlic bed. There's some onions over there, but this is all garlic here. Um, we don't think those are going to make it. That was the transplants, but all these new new growth all through here i'm very pleased with they're looking great um here's the onions they're starting to sprout up two we'll take this little deer netting off or cat netting what we call it but let's see. all right i don't know if you can tell but you can see all those starting to really come this has got 105 onions in it so <laughs> a lot of onions and then we've got another about 50 or 60 right here so those are doing good. We're gonna plant this. We're gonna probably plant some broccoli in this bed. We've got some broccoli ready to plant. So we're gonna to try to do that today. Also, you, this is where the pigs were. You know, you see it got, it's been raining like crazy. So we had not had a chance to get the silage tarp on it. So we're gonna put the silage tarp on it today. Uh, we've got some new sandbags. So I'm excited about getting that silage tarp down there. We're gonna move this net a little bit different way and let the chickens kind of go in front area here by where the bachelor pad was. Also kind of make their way uh, they become the natural weed eaters of uh, of the Max Happy Homestead. So we'll let them kind of work in that area. I want to show you what the pigs are doing now. After we moved them off of there during all that rain the other day, I don't even know if we got a video of it, but we moved them to where the, where the turnips were and the greens were. So they've been working this area. Look how good they've done. So they've been eating healthy, <laughs> eating the rest of the greens. And then also that way we're not having till, it's natural till. So here, look at this. Look how good this looks. So they've not hurt our rows. So we've got one little spot where they've kind of burrowed that we'll have to fix that row, but they've not hurt our mound. So before they start hurting it, of course, we'll go and move them. So they've done a great job. We're actually gonna take this silage tarp, put right here, and then take this netting and put it right here. So then the pigs can work right there. We're gonna move the chickens that's way down there. I don't know if we'll do it today's video, but we're gonna take that netting and start moving along this side too. So great things are happening we've got a lot of things done we've got another load of topsoil delivered right there in the the bay so that way we can go and get started on that when the rows are ready and prepped for garden season uh if you look way back there where we put the cottonseed mill on the hunting deer plot way back in those woods uh if you remember that's kind of where we deer hunt but also it doubles as a as a stockpile for the cows so the cows will be moving down there Probably in about another three or four weeks, we'll let it get up a little bit more and they'll kind of finish off winter season on the rye down there. So a lot of great things happening here. Come with us today. If you're not subscribed to the Max, go down here, push subscribe and also ring the bell so that way you know what's coming up because we always have something fun going on and uh, trying to teach and learn as we go. Um, you see the cows, they're doing great eating fresh grass so they're doing really good so let's get started for the day we're going to work on getting the bee stuff done first then we'll start moving some pig getting the silage starts moved and man we'll be rocking <laughs> So you see we've taken the first tarp off and look how great all this looks all the biomass we do have some ants and that's why 
we want to move the pigs in here because they'll go in here and root all this up. Look at all those old composted leaves and old hay. Uh, just great. No grass whatsoever. Look how soft this is. I mean, it's just so soft. You could take it. Look at this. Look at that. Unbelievable. Again, if you're not using silence tarps, you need to start. So you look how great this looks like. All the rows are looking good, but we do want to put the pigs in here. That way they can go ahead and just kind of do a light teal, especially those first layers, but also kind of break those ants up, eat some of the bad insects that's in there. And that way everything's looking really good. I'm very pleased with that. Man, that looks good. Let's get this other tarp off. We got a few bricks to move, but uh, man, I just, I love these silas tarps. I never can get enough of them really. They're holding a little water, which is okay. That helps keep them down. You see the waters underneath, so they, when people say, oh, silas tarp's no good because you know, your soil gets covered and water can't get to it. Bull, look at that. Look at all the water running down on them. That's good, that's what you want. So we're gonna get this one moved and start moving some pig. All right, project done. Got this off, you see how good they've tilted it up. So what we're gonna do is put a tarp right on that. I don't know if you can tilt in the video because it is kind of hard to see, but right here, there's still a wave of the rows. So they're not really bad messed up at all. There's one spot right there where they tried to dig a little bit. So I have to fix that. But other than that, it looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and take this tarp here, put back right there. And of course you see they're already working they worked on that i put the feed kind of right there by their ant bed so they're going to start working on those and this was just some old compost and some old peas and chop and drop we did <clears throat> so they'll work this soil in and we actually won't use this garden spot until probably next fall but hey you can work it on them getting good things to eat see how big they're growing they just left one cabbage patch and uh, turnip patch and green patch for another one that's got a, good, a lot of chop and drop and one more row of uh, green still on it. So very pleased with what they've done so far. So we're gonna get done with that, go, go knock out the bees. We're actually gonna do the bees and chicken move first, but one of them's got out. So as you saw, I had to go and get those done. So we went on move them and we'll start on the other projects. So before we get to the chickens, I want to show you this. I don't know if we're going to get to the potatoes today um, or the other silage tarps where the pigs were, but we're going to try. Um, normally, if I have old foundation uh, or old bee, basically uh, old honeycomb left on a hive, I usually leave it, um, especially if I'm putting it right back in the hive. That's what you want to do as a beekeeper. Every beekeeper would probably say the same thing. However, these were the ones that um, came out of that hive that I absconded. Not that they had anything wrong with them, but I just want to clean it off, give them fresh, clean looks. So that way when we put them back in the hive, there's no chance of anything being on there. If there was a little disease, which I don't think it was, but uh, I just like to be better safe than sorry. So, you know, all this old honeycomb, they've robbed all the honey and old, old pollen and brood that was all good still uh, and took it back. They've been over here for the last few, really last few two or three weeks that I've had them out. Go ahead and get these scraped off that way they're ready because we're um again february and march in zone 8b where stuff starts blooming you see our blueberries behind us a lot of our blueberries are starting to bloom 
Uh, so our bees are just out going every day, even in this, this nasty weather we've had. So we're gonna go and clean these off because ultimately we're gonna be adding new boxes to them and doing some splits. So we need to make sure we are prepped and ready uh, for that transition to happen. So um, let's go get cleaned and then we will move to the chickens and finish up for today. It just got all that junk off and they've, they've got all the goods out of it. So the last thing I'm gonna do is put it back in the hive and it'd just be worthless. So they're gonna rebuild on that. We've left a little residue to get that wax smell, which is what they love, and they'll start building on it pretty easy. But let's go ahead and knock off all the rest of these right quick. Okay, so we've got the net moved. So this is a way that you can keep your chickens safe, especially if you want them to lay in your hen house. What I do is I just rotate this net. It's not even lit. I don't even put an energizer on it. And they, they'll work that way, then work this way, then work that way, then work this way. So they keep the grass down, but also they're getting great nutrients, great worms, great every kind of bug known to man out in this area. And you look, they just go straight out of their, their uh, in house and start eating. So it's a good thing because it gives them fresh green grass. It gives them protein from the insects they eat. And also gets rest in their hen house from just rain so it's a great idea if you're not doing this it might be a way that you can utilize it uh if hawks are a big deal my, my hen house is covered but then they can come out during the day we'll put them up if it looks like there's a hawk up we'll run them back in so the only way they can go is simply back to their hen house and and lay in their boxes but ultimately come get some fresh green grass so we've got the bees done you saw we've got the pigs move you saw finally got this done so we're wrapping this video up. I'm glad the onions are growing. I'm glad some updates on the garlic. I'm glad you got to see all that. Uh, next video, we'll be planting potatoes. We were hoping to get to that today. Just did not work with the, the great pig escape, but hey, it's always fun here. So until next time, until next video, please keep watching the Max. Uh, share the Max with the friend, your friends, and uh, let's enjoy this life together. God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.